uh, yes, the company probably hasn't lived up to the promise. Purinja believes the future looks okay. Let's try and get a sense of that future from Vijay Thadani, VC and MD of NIT joins us right now on the show. Good having you, Mr. Thadani. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, uh, the obvious question to start Thank off you. such an interaction would be about how, after going through a long restructuring and realignment of portfolio and priority, uh, the kind of vision that you're presenting for NIT, if you can actually just uh, give, it, give us in a nutshell. Yeah, so I think, uh, uh, first of all, uh, the restructuring process of an education and training company by design has to be a longer process than it is to for any other company. The reason is there are existing students, there are existing centers, there are existing contracts, and all of them need to be honored as well uh, while you are doing your restructuring process. So I think uh, the fact that took us two to three years is, uh, is indeed correct. And uh, the other good thing is that after the restructuring process, I think the next step was re-energize the organization. And we made, uh, we brought in some fresh, fresh talent. We have Rahul Patwardhan who has taken over as the CEO, who's brought new energy and new focus into the organization. We have Shivan Bhargav, who is leading the skills and careers segment. Uh, who's brought his own rich experience and understanding of emerging markets as well as uh, his understanding of the consumer marketing space. So I think all these things as, as well as the existing people with, uh, uh, with, the, with a lighter load to carry in terms of a balance sheet definitely has created a new energy in the organization. Now when we look at the future, uh, I think in the future there are two large trends which I think we should uh, be very clear about. One I, uh, I call the global talent development uh, uh, discussion where more and more organizations are realizing that talent is the real asset and managing talent, especially developing talent, is a very, very specialized subject. And the good news is that NIT is one amongst the two or three specialized companies now recognized over the world who can help global corporations uh, manage their talent development process in the most effective and efficient manner. And this is born fruit from the fact that we have had a consistent growth record, uh, new brands, new logos getting added in our right. customer uh, stream and a right. large order book which is uh, sure. uh, pointing at managed training services becoming an existing right. uh, good offering. Right. Okay, Mr. Thadani, due to paucity of time, let me get on board. Mr. Thadani, uh, due to slight paucity of time, let me get on board uh, uh, the value investor Purinju Veliat, who actually likes your company. And Purinju, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, yes, Mr. Vijay. Uh, now, the, you know, the domestic business, mostly the skills and career business, it has stopped bleeding. That's what I understand uh, from the statement of the company. Uh, and the CLG, the corporate learning group, the corporate learning solutions business, in, mostly in North America and Europe, that's also really picking up. I hope you might have added at least 20, 25 clients by now. Like, uh, uh, it was known like uh, Philips, Shell, and uh, maybe General Electric, SAP, kind of uh, clients are joining for that. It's a new emerging opportunity in the world, you know, the HR and uh, training outsourcing. Uh, and domestically, things are looking much better and a better environment going forward. So, and it's a clean balance sheet company and one of the biggest brand in the world. I'm looking at, uh, you know, I have told my followers, this can be a billion dollar company by market value in the next five years time. Uh, I would just would like to uh, hear your comment about it, your vision about it. Yeah, I think you are absolutely right. The global talent development space is a, indeed a great opportunity. Uh, your company is uh, 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 positioned extremely well and is improving its position. I call it your company because you are one of our valued investors as well as a valued supporter. Uh, the second uh, issue is Skill India is a huge opportunity. Uh, I think the, the positioning which Skill India has got in the society and the fact that skilling is now considered socially a valid profession and something which people should uh, pursue. The second, along with that, both government as well as public sector undertakings as well as employers preferring 
standard skills qualification certified skilled professionals is a positive sign. Obviously, the economy's tailwind uh, will definitely help us uh, uh, make sure that uh, more and more people get skilled. But there is a great opportunity to skill India, uh, which, as you know, you've seen the McKinsey and NSDC report, uh, nearly 12 million people have to be added every year uh, in the skill place. Question is, what skills, how deep the skills, and will the employers recognize those skills by paying them the premium? I think these are the questions on the horizon, but all the winds are now blowing in the right direction. Of course, we need the support of the tailwind of the economy as well.